Welcome back to Unreal Labs. Today we're going to be doing a lab on IP Helper. Um, we did that last video, setting up a DHCP server um, on the Cisco switch for the switch to handle DHCP. Today I'm going to, I think on the end of that video, I talked about setting up IP Helper and I wanted to kind of clarify that in this video and just go through it. And so what I have is this will be actually on physical equipment today. Um, since I don't have my VMware or for my GNS3 lab connected to my home network. Um, but today we have, I have a server on real labs.local. Uh, it's a DC DHCP DNS. It's on VLAN one. I made a VLAN 100, or excuse me, not VLAN one, VLAN 100 and VLAN 200 on this Cisco 3750 switch. I also have a Windows 10 machine. Uh, lead two. Uh, currently, it's on VLAN one, but we're going to add it to VLAN two or not VLAN one, VLAN one hundred. We're going to add it to VLAN two hundred, and then we're going to set it to DHCP. Currently, it has a static IP address. We're also going to configure IP Helper on VLAN two hundred, um, so we can get broadcast from lead two here all the way over to server which I need to come up with a better name than server. But for today, it'll work. But we want to make sure that we get broadcast from VLAN 200 all the way over to VLAN 100. And then this actually is going to serve the correct uh, subnet back to lead two. So it's pretty simple. It should just take a couple minutes. But um, I just wanted to throw this video together. All right, so let's check our switch out real quick. I'm not really sure where I left off, but show interface status. And looks like we're in workstations in three and servers in seven. Both are on VLAN 100. So let's, let's check, actually, let's check some connectivity. Let's go back over to VMware. Let's just make sure we have connectivity. As both of these sit in VLAN 100 now, just, just to give it a shot. It looks like I left it that way, so I did test this last night. All right, so that looks good. And then we'll try to ping gateway. All looks good there. All right, well, let's jump into gig 103. So config T interface gig 103. Three. And actually I'm gonna I want to see what the config is on it. So do show interface gig oops, excuse me show run interface gig one zero three. Alright, there's the config. So we're gonna change it to so switch port access VLAN two hundred. And we'll check that out, make sure that held. I'm sure it did. And we'll go back over to Workstation one, and we should now be dead. So now we're in this address space of 10.0.200.1. So if we configured Workstation one with a static IP, we should be able to ping that, but that's not part of the lab today, or we don't need to do that today. So let's jump over to the test lab server and let's configure another scope here. I have a scope on VLAN 100, but let's do a new scope. And we'll call this VLAN 200. And you, this is set up, I'm not gonna go too far into this. We've covered this in a couple other videos, but I, I can definitely, whoops, starting address. Let's do 10 through 50, that's fine. And then slash 24, but I'm not gonna cover too much on this setup. Unless you guys want me to down the road. Eight day, actually, let's go just eight hours. And I want to configure options because we need a default gateway. And this should be auto filled. Test lab.local. Yep, that's good. And we don't need wins. And yes, we want to activate it. Finish. All right, so we should have that scope set. No leases. Yep, looks good. All right, so let's jump back over to the switch. 
And looks like VLAN 200 just came up, so that's good. Let's take a look at the other config show start. What else do we have? All right, so we have we need IP routing enabled, so that's enabled, so that's good. Oh, I'm gonna. The reason that's showing 100 is because I, I was showing start not run. So as you can see now, there's 200 here. All right, that all looks good. VLAN interfaces are good. All right. So all we need to do now is just jump into VLAN 200. So we'll go config T, interface VLAN 200. And as you can see, there's no configuration. There's no IP help running yet. So we'll do IP. And I'm just going to question mark because I always like to show you guys your options. And we're looking for this one here, helper address. So that's the one we want to specify UDP broadcasts to go to. So helper address. And then it's going to ask us for, <clears throat> excuse me, an IP address. And that's going to be that server here that we that we have on our network. So we're going to throw in 10.0.100.10. That's where we want all those UDP broadcasts to be forwarded to. So 10.0.100.10. And we'll take that command. So now if we show run interface VLAN 200, we'll see that IP helper address has been configured there on VLAN 200. So let's jump back over to workstation one and we need to wipe out that static address i'm going to close these just so you see how i do it but just open up file sql score is usually what i do right click on network properties display settings or display settings network settings and then go to properties ip4 and as you can see we have a static in here so let's clear all that out and we're going to get an i we should get an ip after i hit okay here it might take it a second but all right, so now you're seeing an IP address of 10.0.200.10, and then our default gateway is 10.0.200.1, which is correct. And then our, we, we see our DHCP server's 10 and our DNS server's 10. So if we test some communication now, so we'll try our gateway. We're all good there. I like to move myself forward. Not just try to ping the end tunnel, just to see what's going on for the end endpoint. And then there's 10, so there's the server. So we are communicating back and forth. Um, real simple configuration, but if you guys were wondering how you'd get DHCP across VLANs, um, this is pretty much it. Pretty simple con configuration. Now, if you wanted, if you had another VLAN, you'd be doing the same exact thing. And if you wanted to send them to a different DHCP server, you just change this IP address here to send them to that DHCP service or server. There are some other options here you can, um, you can set. So like you can actually block a lot of things too. So you're actually, and just for UDP, you're actually sending TFTP there if that was to come up, things like that. So you can uh, specify like maybe no DNS, it's forwarded over there. Um, I'm not sure what your use case would be, but um, you can do that. You don't have to forward every UDP. Let's go through that real quick. I think we just, uh, yeah, configuration T. So we'd be no, and there's a bunch of options here, right? IP forward, and we're going to tell it what to do. So we would be UDP, right? And then all the pro, all the, uh, different protocols you could you could stop forwarding over to server to the server you were pointing to all right well that's it for today um i'll have some more videos coming this week i uh, appreciate you guys all the new subscribers appreciate that trying to get to 100 fast i'd like to also um yeah, just thank everybody for watching. And if you have other suggestions, just throw, throw them down in the comments. I'll see if I can get to them. I'm still working on a VMware lab. I have kind of a funny story on that. Um, that server actually caught fire. So uh, not a good thing. But uh, I have some, I'm going to re, uh, refurbish that and get that back into production.
so we can do some more videos. I appreciate your time. Thanks again for watching.